Welcome to the key session of the day of this special address by PC Mustafa, CEO and founder ID Fresh Food on building a brand using common sense. PC Mustafa laid the foundation of ID Fresh Food in the year 2005 with the aim of preserving the tradition of Indian cooking. Today, ID Fresh Food has become a thousand crore brand employing more than 1,500 plus youngsters from rural India and extending its services across the country and the Middle East. Having completed his graduation from NIT Calicut in the Computer Science Department, Mustafa went on to work with companies like Motorola and Citibank. He's also an alumnus of IIM Bangalore. Mr. Mustafa has been conferred several awards, including India Today, Make in India Award, JCI, a part, uh, JCI National Award, Vocational Excellence Award, an Entrepreneur India Award, among others. He's also a part of the Honorable Prime Minister's Champions of Change team with a vision to build new India by 2022. And was recently invited to speak about his inspirational entrepreneurial journey at the UN headquarters. Ladies and gentlemen, you've eaten his idlis, you've eaten his vadas, you've eaten his dosas, now, you watch him live on stage. Put your hands together. Welcome on stage, PC Mustafa. Good evening. In the name of God, peace be unto you. Thank you for inviting me here. Such a great honor to be here among all these great leaders. Today, I decided to speak about a very uncommon subject called common sense. Let me introduce you before we start. I am PC Mustafa. I come from a re very remote village in a beautiful place called Vainad in Kerala. We had no electricity in my village. We had no roads in my village. My dad was a coolie. As my dad was finding it difficult to meet both ends of the family, I ended up doing coolie job at the age of 10. I had to walk miles to my school. Government's midday meal scheme was the biggest motivation factor for me to attend the school. Three-time meal was a distant dream during my childhood days. I never had opportunity to breakfast in my life. I was very poor in my studies. I was a school dropout. I later went back to school and turned out to be a school topper next year. I then ended up doing my engineering in computer science from NIT Calicut by chance. I was given a campus offer from a multinational company in Bangalore. After seeing my campus offer, my dad felt it was my annual package, not my monthly offer. It was actually more than his lifetime savings. Seeing my first month salary, he cried because he had never seen that kind of money in his lifetime. I then worked with a few MNCs in India, Middle East and Europe. I decided to come back to India with an objective of creating employment for smart kids in my village. I then ended up doing my MBA from IIM Bangalore by choice. I then co-founded ID Fresh Food along with my cousins. Today, we're a thousand crore fresh food brand serving world's Serving world's best breakfast, at least to a million Indians every single day. There is no rocket science in this business. There is no entry barrier. Then how did we build a brand without spending money? In the next 25 minutes, I will share a few stories from ID. These are my real life stories and I hope these stories will help you to become better managers and better human beings. So here goes my stories 
and the message to you. ID was founded by me and my cousins. Later, new partners and professionals joined us in the journey. We built, built ID into a thousand core fresh food brand using common sense. Most important of aspect of any business is common sense, which is reducing dangerously these days. We are depending on too much on hard tools and spreadsheets, which increases analysis paralysis when the only thing needed at that time of the point would be common sense. Even when we started ID, our first product, Idli Dosa Batter, we used common sense. My co-founders co used to run a small-time Kirana store in a place called Tipasandra in Bangalore, just walkable away from this place. They used to procure Idli Dosa Batter from an unbranded supplier, local vendor. It had regular quality issues, service complaints, and unwanted cockroaches in the batter. My cousins tried to fix the issue with the vendor multiple times. It didn't work out. That's when we thought we should create our own batter. We consulted roadside vendors and our grandmothers to create world's best batter. We did not have an R&T team. We did not read market reports. We did not do market research. Easiest route was to add preservatives in the food, as done by many others in the market, for increased shelf life and better profitability. We decided to keep our products 100% natural. It was actually war against preservatives. Another popular snack that all of us love is the vada. It's very popular in South India, especially. Vada goes best with idli. Kids love vada too. But it's one of the most difficult snacks to make at home. Unless you're an expert like your grandmothers. Vada started disappearing from Indian homes, including my home. There are two significant challenges in making vada. The first challenge is to get the vada batter right. But even if I give vada, bat vada batter to homemaker, he, he or she will, will not be able to make vada because it's a cumbersome job. It's a tough task. Vada batter is sticky like your favicord. Second challenge is to get the hole for the vada. You must be an expert to make perfect vadas. You cannot get the size right. You cannot get the shape right. And we South Indians will not eat a vada without a hole. <laughs> when I talk to homemakers in my office, when I talk to homemakers in my office, they were okay to make vada if I give them vada better. But then they had no idea how to get a hole for the vada. And most importantly, the new generation homemakers like you will end up frying fingers instead of frying the vada. <laughs> we wanted to help all homemakers to make world's best vada at home. This journey started three years ago. If you look back, this is why I'm talking about common sense. This is a century-old problem. We identified it. We had the guts to solve it. We talked to industry experts. They were not able to help us. We used common sense to solve it. And our solution is ID's new Vada Pack for you. ID's new Vada Pack helps you perfect homemade Vadas that are shaped, sized, just like homemade Vadas, expert-made Vadas, without you touching the batter. That too with a proper hole in the middle with 100% natural, no chemicals, no preservatives, nothing added in it. Now it takes just one minute for a homemaker to make vada at home. But then it took us three years to build it. It was not an easy journey. We didn't lose hope. We kept on trying. It was a classical conflict 
of profitability versus a meaningful solution. I'm sure you're all curious to know about this magical Vada pack. Vada making is a science now, not an art anymore. Let me show you how it works. May I request you to play the Vada video? No ordinary snack, a South Indian speciality. It's a favorite in homes across India, but its circular cylindrical shape and donut like hole make it fairly difficult to prepare at homes. It needs the expert hands of grandmas and aunts or even restaurant cooks. Not anymore. ID decided to turn its attention on this age old problem and transform the complex art of vada making into a science for everyone. <laughs> And the key ingredient, common sense. A path-breaking little big invention. The spout that shapes batter into vadas with the hole. And that's it. Squeeze, shape, cut, fry. Handmade, but with no mess, no stress. Just delicious, crispy vadas. ID. Maker of India's favorite batters and fresh food presents Vada Batter in a pack that shapes batter into vadas. Now, everybody can vada. This product and packaging was developed by my cousin who didn't have any technical education. Techies like you Call it 3D printing of Vada. <laughs> Experts out there call it innovation. But if you actually look at it, it's common sense. Nothing else. We use common sense to identify a century or problem and use common sense to solve it. That's it. So my first message to you is, look around. Identify such issues and use common sense to solve it. That's the best way to solve world's problems and build a business out of it. Moving to my second story. It's about the story of innovation. <coughs> As I mentioned earlier, there's no rocket sense in making idli dosa batter. Almost zero entry berry. Anybody can make it. We started with just 50,000 rupees of investment. But then, there's something which keeps us apart from the local players. That's innovation. So my story is about innovation with an ID. There are five areas that we looked at innovation that we can bring in the, in the business. One is our product innovation, the packaging innovation, the marketing innovation, the back end that we use as innovation that we have done, technology, we are a group of techies. So technology is something which drives business. And as I mentioned, marketing innovation. So let me just quickly run you through. Few, few examples where we innovated. So when everyone was making, busy making the atta at home, the idli dosa batter at home, we thought we can create a product for them. Instead of grinders, we try to pack the quality of the same home grinder batter into a pack. When the whole world is busy adding chemicals in the food, we said we'll keep it natural, nothing else. When we entered the crowded paneer market, we differentiated ourselves with the product. The, our paneer is made with lime, not with acid. When the whole world is busy extending the product shelf life, doing R&D in extending the product shelf life, we were busy reducing the product shelf life and serving it fresh. We started working with one-day shelf life products in the store. Today, we have products ranging from three days to seven days with shelf life. We invented a business model which can sell fresh products through retail store. This is, I think, probably one of the 
most important insight of this discussion. How many of you use ID Batter? Good. I don't say Lily. I say Lily Batter. A homemaker like you picks up a pack of Lily Batter. It becomes your assistant in the kitchen. You serve, you cook steaming idli and serve it on the dining table to your family. If idli comes out well, you get the credit, not me. And if for some reason, if idli is hard, blame goes to me, the brand ID. I think that's a very important insight in terms of innovating the positioning. I'm coming to the packaging innovation. All of you who use ID Batter would know that we've created a pack which will transform itself from a pouch to a vessel when you zip lock open it. It's a patented technology from our side. We took almost four years to create it. Today, you don't need a vessel. You can actually make dosa idli directly from a pouch. That's innovation. I just talked about Vada, right? Became a super hit across. We are just launching this new product in the market. We haven't seen that in the market yet. This is the first platform that I'm talking about this. We are launching a filter coffee decoction in the market, right? And that's a pack. That's a pack. It is pouch. <laughs> we, we try to create a 3D printing, 3D view of the product using graphics and, and the die cutting. Let me talk about backend innovation. To get the best idli batter, you need to soak it, wash it, I mean clean it, soak it, wash it, grind it, ferment it, pack it, right? That's all you do. Nothing else. So when you grind it, it has to be ground using the traditional bed grinder, stone grinding the one that I've shown you in the first foil. Unfortunately, Germans don't eat idli dosa. So there are no large machines available to ma make idli dosa better. One, one wet grinder will grind one and a half kg of rice or dal per hour if you use the traditional wet grinder. If I use any non-traditional approach, I will not get the right quality. So we went to US, identified the mustard paste making machine, got it, customized, and created our own batter making machine. Today, instead of one and a half kg rice per hour, the same machine, the wet grinding, the traditional wet grinding machine, grinds 1,500 kg of rice per hour. That is technology. <laughs> the technology I'm talking about. Um, ID runs on IT. We are a group of techies. As I mentioned earlier, when the whole world was busy creating a product for long shelf life and following the traditional FMCG distribution model, we were busy creating our own distribution model with shorter shelf life. For that, we used technology. We used technology from day one. Every store is geotagged, geofenced. We have the last seven years data. We use this data for predicting the demand on a particular day in a particular store for a particular product to the accurate level. When we started a new, when we started a new product in a new city, when we, since we deal with highly perishable food, our wastage will be as high as 45 percentage, which means 100 packets are sent to the market, 45 come back unsold. Right? Today, in a mature city, mature product, with this technology, my wastage is less than one percentage. That's technology. <laughs> I'm coming to the last part of my discussion, which is marketing innovation. I'm going to talk about the trust shop. How many of you believe Something comes in a packed food is healthy. 
Um, how many of you think you said uh, you use ID better? Do you think ID is healthy? Yeah, two numbers, two, just one person, I think. That's quite natural. That's common. Anything comes in a packed food is considered as unhealthy. I tried different campaigns to mention that even though I come in a packed food, it is healthy, it is natural, nothing else in it. But then people love my story, right? You were clapping when I told you about my childhood stories. But then people don't believe the story behind the ID. It is natural. My biggest problem was I want my customers to trust me. What is the best way for someone to trust you? What is the best way for someone to trust you? I think almost half of this crowd have experienced ID better. They still don't trust me. Reassurance. Who said that? Trust them so that they will trust you. So we created a campaign called Trust Shop three years ago. We set up unmanned shops in apartment complexes and offices. We kept all ID fresh products in a chiller. It was purely based on trust. There were no salesperson, no technology, no cameras, no vending machine, no security. No one was watching except the Almighty God. Customers were expected to take a, pick a pack of batter, open the chiller, pick up their favorite food, drop the money in the money box kept next to it. You can see that in the picture. Go home and have a healthy breakfast. Customers were surprised. They couldn't believe it. It got us a great brand mileage. Our campaign video went really viral. Initially, when we started, we were receiving monopoly currency instead of the real currency. <laughs> but, let, but we kept on trying. We didn't stop. Later on, the same customers who were cheating us started putting, putting the 500 rupees note and made up for the losses that we made. That made my day. The same customers were feeling guilty. So this is the kind of campaign we run. Now, many of you would think this is a crazy idea. But I can tell you this is a profitable business. We made better money per store than a retail store. Better revenue and better profitability than a retail store from these stores. Indians are trustworthy. Don't worry about it. This idea was rated as the best food marketing idea in 2016. We were actually trying to create a brand which just has customers in the heart, not just in the tummy. So my, my message to you, my third message to you, is trust others so they'll trust you. Be the change you wish to see in this world. Last August, we took an unconventional pack takeover. We introduced a tricolor pack which was a super hit across. I can tell you, stores started stocking our product for decorating their stores. We have created a one minute video, the one that you just saw, by spending 1,40,000 rupees. And I think I'm yet to see a person who has not seen that video yet. That went so viral. I think that shows about the power of innovation. I'm coming to my last story. Are we okay on time? I'm very passionate about this new idea. We just launched this in the in market a few weeks ago. In my beautiful village in Kerala, we are a group of 100 plus families living there for generations of different region. 
we have a church a temple and a mosque in my village my dad knows every single member of my village i know most of them we share a coffee we play together my neighbors visit us for our festivals we have a very strong bonding i now live in a beautiful gated community in whitefield bangalore but i barely know any of my neighbors i barely know anybody in the community though we are an advanced civilization living in metros we are missing the goodness of community life that is prevalent in villages and smaller towns this is where we feel strongly that we should do something about it if we have to make this world a better place the first step is to know your neighbors better spend time with them and share the joy what is the best way to know your neighbor we thought it is to share a meal we have now launched this concept in indian cities all you need to do is to invite your neighbors for a breakfast and inform us my team will deliver id products free of cost i mean it's free you know you all think it right some people could misuse it and use it for those personal gains that's okay we trust them i genuinely believe that if we all spend time to know each other the world will become a better place people like you and me need to take the first step in for making a peaceful world we are this campaign is available for another 2 weeks so please don't miss it please use this is free and who knows this could be the future <laughs> why not can i request you to play the innovation video innovation it's all about simplicity understanding people solving problems and of course common sense once upon a time busy consumers bought their wet batter from small shops then along came a group of entrepreneurs who asked the simple question why should eating your favorite food be a compromise and so after 9 months of painstaking r&d tons of batter and thousands of trials ID idli and dosa batter was born with a formula that could be mass produced using no soda preservatives or chemicals and no compromise to the traditional authenticity of homemade batter fast forward a few years batter soon became a branded commodity sold in plain old pouches ID knew its customers loved its batter and idlis and dosas but what about the overall usage experience not so much enter the new id batter pack inspired by a boat with a larger base and adjusted center of gravity making it stable self standing and therefore versatile and highly functional id even co-designed a wet grinder no bigger than the home version which churns out 1500 kg of batter an hour with absolutely no compromise to the homely magic of wet batter innovation born out of common sense let's talk parotas crispy fluffy layers of yumminess that need handmade skill so how did id's r&d teams meet the challenges of scaling up a proprietary machine that mimics handmade layered parotas authentic delicious just how people love them and common challenge common sense common sense is how we entered the crowded paneer market not with a me too but with home fresh paneer made using only lemon juice no 
no chemicals or acids, just natural, fresh, common sense paneer. A few years ago, ID wondered if there was a way to reward consumers for trusting it with their family meals. And so was born the ID Trust Shop, the world's first branded, unmanned, unsupervised retail outlet. Consumers at apartment complexes and offices could take home ID food and pay for it later, in part or in full. Trust was the currency. Independence Day 2017, ID decided to pay tribute to our armed forces martyrs with a brave and highly unconventional pack takeover. How better to inspire our consumers than our most visible medium, our packs? South India's favorite <laughs> snack was also the hardest to make, the vada. So, what did ID do? We invented a pack that shapes batter into vadas, common sense innovation that identified an age-old problem and solved it. Now, everybody can vada. This year, ID will focus on building communities and camaraderie as it brings people in residential complexes together to bond over breakfast meals of its natural fresh food. ID is today a hundred million dollar brand. Innovation drives us, common sense drives us, and our conviction drives us to serve our consumers natural, traditional food, no preservatives or chemicals. Thank you. It is such a coincidence. Today, a young boy who started working as a coolie in a remote village of Vainad in Kerala, for whom having breakfast was a luxury, runs a company that serves world's best breakfast, idlis, to million Indians every day. Let me summarize my messages to you. Use common sense to understand century old problems and use common sense to solve it. Do not complicate. Think of simple ways to solve complicated problems. If you want people to trust you, you trust them so that they will trust you back. Be the change you wish to see in this world. Before I end my speech, I would like to leave you with this final message in a beautiful video. It's a tribute to the most important person in our life. Watch on. Thank you. And Jai Hind. so many times, why didn't you pick up? I feel sick, Peter. Ma, you've been sick and you didn't even tell me. I didn't want to disturb you. 
Ma, I'm very stressed at work. I can't talk right now. Anything urgent? Ma, hmm. आपने खाना खाया? Hmm. Thank you. Shwendi? I'm okay. Right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, can I hear a big round of applause? I, you know what? I don't know what you're going to do tonight. But I know what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to go home. I'm going to pick up ID Vada Batter before I go home. Vada Batter. And I want to tell you this, PC. Your batter is not batter. Oh, batter ni best edgy. We knew this line. Ladies and gentlemen, um, on that note, that was really inspiring. Thank you, Mustafa. And I would uh, request you to stay back on stage because we've got a memento coming up out here. Sure. I'd like to invite on stage Mr. Satyabrata Das, Head Strategic Alliances, Laksha Media, to hand over a token of appreciation to Mr. Mustafa. Can I hear a big round of applause? Thank you. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, although we're getting terribly late, but there's a clamor for questions, so I'll take a couple of questions, right? Uh, anybody else? I think she had a go, uh, the last speaker. Anybody else who wants to go? You want to go? Thank you. You can do without a mic, I trust you. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. thanks. So first and foremost, I just want to start by saying hashtag respect for the humble background you started and how far you took it away. Thank you. So my only question is, how do we tiddly dosa without chutney? Good question, but I have a clever answer for it. Keep, keep it off. I can't. We had chutney. We had launched chutney. Probably world's best chutney. But didn't do well in the market. <laughs> okay. So let me ask you a question in a different way. Do you eat idli outside? Yes. Which place? Give Plenty of places. Yes. Nothing in Sagar. Any Sagar, right? How much do you pay for a plate of idli? It's rupees. constantly inflating like... 30 rupees? Yeah, on 30, 35. Plate of 3 idli? 2. 2 idli. 15 rupees per idli? Yeah. Do you buy ID batter? Uh, I don't cook at home, so okay. I have So tried. people who buy ID batter pay 70 rupees per kg of idli batter. That gets around 20 to 23 idli on an average. That's around 3 rupees per idli. Good value for, for money, right? Of course. Instead of 15 rupees, you end up paying 3 rupees. How much do you pay for chutney? <laughs> Nothing. That's Nothing. it. That's it. That's the issue. People don't want to pay for it. They want it free. <laughs> Couldn't offer it. Yeah, yeah. go on, please. So I would like to know how has it been received abroad because you've been invited to a lot of foreign lectures and research R&D programs abroad. So how did it happen? 
So um, we la launched ID in um, UAE, I think around three years ago. Today, UAE contributes uh, around 25% uh, of my revenue and 100% uh, of the profits. Hello. Yeah, soon, we soon, soon launching it in other markets. Hello, hi. Uh, so yeah. my question is, uh, what's the story behind the name ID? There's a larger story behind it. When we were looking for a name, or we were thinking about a name, my cousin coined ID. He actually meant, or he was assuming it is Idli Dosa. But then I was working with Intel at that time. I, I, I was on the way back to my home from Intel in that meeting in Tipasandra near the Ganesha temple. So I had my ID card. So I thought it's ID. And, and that's how I interpreted it's ID. So that's how the name was born, ID. Cute name, right? All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was the last question. Can I hear a big, big, big round of applause? PC Mustafa on stage. Thank you.